Step right up and prepare to witness a hilarious art battle in Thomas Couture's masterpiece La Peinture Realiste. It's the mid 19th century and the art world is in upheaval. In one corner we have the Grand Master Couture, a staunch defender of the academic tradition, shaking his brush in disapproval. He believed that realism was just a bunch of hogwash, a movement that dared to focus on everyday subjects instead of lofty historical and mythological themes. And in the other corner we have the fearless realist led by none other than Gustave Courbet. These rebels rejected the old-fashioned academies and their snooty art preferences. They believed in painting what they saw and experienced, finding beauty in the mundane. So, realism is all the rage and couture, bless his artistic soul, just can't quite wrap his head around it. In this painting, Couture pokes fun at the realists for believing that the only meaningful knowledge came from what they could see and experience firsthand. Our protagonist, the realist painter, decides to give the finger to tradition by immortalizing a pig on canvas. Yes, folks, you heard it right. A pig. The holy grail of artistic inspiration, the epitome of intelligence, grace and, well, you know where this is going. As if that weren't enough, Couture sprinkles the scene with quirky objects hanging around like party decoration on New Year's Eve. Look closely and you will spot a cabbage and a boot hanging in the background. Mundane objects at their finest. Who needs grand themes when you can find artistic inspiration in everyday veggies and foodware? Our rubber painter takes a seat on an antique cast, boldly declaring his disregard for historical art and academic conventions. He's all about breaking the rules and if that means using a carved head of Zeus as a seat, so be it. And let's not forget the fashion forward accessories, the umbrella and knapsack. Because you never know when the urge to paint directly from nature will strike. This painting was supposed to be a critique of realism but ended up as a hilarious reminder to embrace the absurd and find inspiration in the most unexpected places. Back in 1949, Sir Alfred Chester Beatty decided to donate a bunch of fancy French paintings from the 19th century to Ireland. Now, these French masterpieces happily reside in the National Gallery of Ireland. And guess what? Among this treasure trove is none other than Thomas Couture's work of art, La Peinture Realist. So, the next time you visit the National Gallery of Ireland, prepare to chuckle at this comical masterpiece.